stroll through a beautiful garden. All of a sudden, you catch something in the corner of your eye. You approach it, the most beautiful flowers you've ever seen, placed in a terracotta vase. The flowers, layered so perfectly, just as Jan Van Oates arranged them in his painting. What did your eyes go to first when you first saw this painting? Jan Van Oves started off painting landscapes and seascapes when he was taught by Eric Schumann in the hall. Later in his painting career, he started doing 18th century Dutch still life, painting flowers and fruit. Still life paintings show objects the artist has arranged. In this case, he put flowers and insects in a terracotta vase on a marble ledge with a pale green background. Jan Van Oos was one of several followers of still life painter Jan Van Hism, following, following the settings of a classical 18th century garden. What I mean by that is a garden that's lush with lots of pale green. Van Oos's other paintings were very similar, such as flowers in a terracotta vase and fruit and flowers in a terracotta vase. I also, both of these, they caught me with the grapes right in the middle. I've chosen flowers in a terracotta vase is a perfect example of a still life painting. When I look at this painting and his other paintings, I see lots of primary colors. I also see that the bigger flowers, the ones you guys pointed out in the beginning, are warm colors. I think he wants them to catch your eye as it did. The smaller flowers have a cooler color to them because I think he wants them to be more hidden in the painting. You will also find other things hidden in the painting such as butterflies, a bird, a bird's nest, and a bug right on the front letters. White flower in the corner. One of the things that really interested me in this artwork was, if you look closely, you'll notice that some of the leaves are blue instead of green. In my opinion, I thought he wanted to use a cooler color to let the warm colored flowers stand out. If he used green, it wouldn't let them stand out because it would cause the same amount of brightness. However, after I did research, I figured out that the yellow pigment that was mixed with the pink pigment to make a green leaf tone had faded from the light, leaving only blue. For my interpretive piece, I used acrylic paint and tissue paper on a canvas to recreate a replica of my piece. I used tissue paper on the petals to make, the petal, to make the flowers look three-dimensional as they do in the actual painting. I've always loved drawing and creating flowers, so I do not necessarily paint flower for flower. If you look closely, you'll see that some flowers, such as this one, aren't in the actual painting, which makes it my interpretive piece. Now that you've learned more about this artwork, do you have a new perspective? When I first saw this artwork, it was new. I looked at it as I looked at any other piece of artwork. But now, I put all the information I've learned into the painting as I look at it, and now I have a new perspective. I put my own thoughts and details into this artwork, and it turned out pretty great.